My name is Tom Martin. I'm an actor. I work with uh, Take Wing and Soar. It's a classical theater using people of color. I'm from the Bronx and from a poor neighborhood. And in case you haven't noticed, black. So when I got to um, the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, which is where I studied when I was very young, one of my teachers who taught literature, and she th taught through sonnets. So after reading a sonnet, she pulled me to the side and she says, I'm going to help you because right now you don't s say the endings of your words. So instead of the or that, I would say that or duh instead of the. And I had not a clue that was going on until I was there in that class and it changed my life. And the sonnet that I chose, she had us each choose one, was about destroying something and growing into something else. Shakespeare was an observationist. He observed life, people, and he wrote about it. And he not only wrote about it, but when in his writing, he took the experience of living and being human, all of the dark as well as all of the beautiful light that we are, love and hate and fear and joy and honesty and, and commitment and destruction. That's astounding to me. I mean, every day for this guy all of those years ago to observe human beings to a place where they, nearly 500 years later, they are compelled to talk about it. To, to mount these plays and to have millions and millions more people experience what he thought, what he saw. Yeah, that's kind of amazing, right? Work. Yeah, in, in order to be a great anything, you have to first decide and then that decision commit and just work really hard, be curious about everything and uh, eventually it happens. But you can see that I love it. And having something to love is, is a driving force. You know, having something that's mine, because it is mine to nurture in order for me to convey those thoughts that I've, I've read and I've experienced through his writing to an audience where they get it from me is another amazing experience. In the 15th century, copulating without being in a marriage type of relationship was illegal and punishable by death in this instance. Isabel goes to Angelo and says, please forgive my brother, give him another opportunity because he's going to marry her anyway. He says, well, if you have sex with me, then I will free your brother. And she gets all upset and says, oh God, how dare you, you shame on you, shame, shame, shame. I'm going to go tell everybody. And Angelo says, who will believe thee, Isabel? My unsoiled name, the austereness of my life, my vouch against you, my place in the state will sow your accusation away that you will stifle in your own reported smell of culminating. I have begun. And now I give my sensual race the rein. Fit thy consent to my sharp appetite. Lay by all nicety and prolixious blushes that banish what they sue for. Redeem thy brother by yielding up thy body to my will, or else he shall not only die the death, but thy unkindness shall his death draw out to lingering, lingering sufferance. 
propensity tomorrow, or by the affection that now guides me most, I'll prove a tyrant to him. As for you, say what you can. My faults overweighs your truth. Thank you.